All right, okay, the first thing we're going to do is to create a new cell for our left-hand side table here. So what we're going to do is create a new group. Let's call that views. And then we'll add a new file called menu view cell for now. So choose the Objective C class, and then go to next, select the UI table view cell in this list, and then we'll call that menu view cell. Okay, so one more thing we need to do to add a cell is to add the user interface for that cell. So if I go here and I also choose user new file, user interface, and I select on view, then I can go next and create a view in there as well. I think I made a mistake. We wanted to call that menu view, the menu view cell. That's it. So that actually will be our package for our cell. But this is a user interface for an iPhone application, um, iPhone full view. So what we just need to do is delete that view and then add a table view cell to our application. And that's it. Well, that's not it. <laughs> we still need to design that. Okay, so before we go ahead, what we need to do is get the design elements that we're going to use to customize this cell. And to do that, I have a I have a folder with design elements here, which we're going to use in the in the end. These are design elements that you can get in the sample project. So all you just need to do is enter your name and your email address, and you can download these designed files for free for your application as well. All right. So what we have here is uh, a list of uh, elements so for example we have here a calendar view so what we'll have here is a couple of buttons so that's a design for buttons we have designs so basically gradients here as well so this is going to be used for our list and then we also have different gradients in different colors so what you can see here is a, these are basically design elements that we can use to customize our application so I'm going to copy this folder and add it to our project. So I copy that and I paste that here as well. Okay, so that's here. So let's close that. We need to add this folder to our project. So if you click on right click, add files to stack scroll view, and then we'll select the resources folder, click on add, and then we've got all our design elements there. We don't need everything for this application, we'll just use the ones that we think are needed. All right, okay, so that's almost, we're almost there, so we're good to go. So the next step is to customize the menu view cell. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, add an image view to this cell here. Okay, so that's an image view. This is going to be our, this is going to be the background image of the, of the, of the cell. So let's resize that. I think we need about 220 and 44. Let's resize our cell to have the same dimensions as well. Okay, and then we need to select the image for that. So in this case, we're going to use the menu small PNG. So that gives us like a gradient feel, kind of blue grayish gradient. And then we need a label for the text. So this label is going to be on the first menu, and this is going to be like the folder for each of the, each of the pictures. And let's call that. Let's give that name like Maldives, for example. So, for example, maybe someone wants to group a list of pictures which were taken on their holiday to Maldives, then that will be under that folder. So, can do, resize that a little bit. And then we need to add the number of images that are in that folder. To do that, we also need to add another image view. Oops. Let's drag that to the stage and then for that we'll need a the count yeah so it's more like a rounded view box and I think this is about 30 by 22 looks like a better value okay then we need a label in that so let's drag the label across 
and then just give that a quick count. Let's just say 10. So let's say there are 10 images in that in that folder. So we need to make sure our label fits in that view. And in this case, the color of our text should be white. Okay, so that is actually all the all that we need to do for our cell. Let's change the text, the color of this text, gray, a little bit like kind of dark gray. So no, that's, that's kind of too light as well. Let's give it a dark gray color. Yeah. Okay. So I think we're done with our cell. So all we need to do now is to add our cell to our table view and then run that and then see what we get. So if we... Alright, so in the next video, we're going to add this cell to our list and then see what we get. And then we can customize the selection element and like how it looks when it's selected and how it looks when it's deselected. Alright, to download the sample project of this tutorial and the design files for free, all you need to do is enter your name and your email in the form below and then I will send you the design files and the sample project and you'll also get updates when more tutorials are released on the YouTube channel. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe to the App Design for channel so that you don't miss future tutorials on how to design cool looking apps. Alright, thank you very much and um, watch out for the next video.